Are you religious? Uh, I was brought up religious. Right. Um, I believe in God. I just, I don't really, like I don't go to church. I believe there's something there. Right. Yeah, I reckon. Right. Why? Oh, well, that, for that reason, because I just said one day you'll be dead. Like, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, I didn't grow up with any church yeah. sort of thing. I went to two or two or three in my whole life. So, yeah, yeah. you know, for whatever reason, just the folks weren't that way. Yeah. So I don't ever think about it, to be honest. I don't ever think about death. But I know oh, yeah, that mate. my I, feeling is that one day it's yeah, going to be over and yeah. you may as well have a go. Yeah. You know? Even though, I'm, you know, I believe in God and that, I, I don't ever want to think about death. Yeah. I, yeah. Nah. I watched my old man die last year. Did you? That was not cool. Why? Um, what, what, do you, what happened to the man? It's time to land the Barracuda! Yeah! Today, viewers, this podcast was brought to you by Koala Karma, the chill-out drink. That's right. Sit back, relax, crack a good old can of Karma Koala, and uh, tie yourself up in knots, drop into some waves, and get into some rugby league. On today's podcast, I'll speak to Odell Harris. The dude's a, a, uh, a machine. He's huge. Um, we talk all things... Surfing, jiu-jitsu. We get pretty heavy on life, actually, when we get back into our rugby league. Um, uh, Odell gave me a great uh, hint after this um, episode that I'm really going to carry on, and I'm glad he told me because no one else would tell you. You know, it takes a good, honest person to say, um, don't butt into so many things so many times. <laughs> so I'm glad he did because I'm... Uh, you know, advice is good. Good critical, um, good criticism from the right people is a good thing to hear. So anyway, Adele, I know you're going to like this, mate. Um, everything is good. Everything is interesting. So here's to you. Over to you, Adele Harris. Yeah. Adele Harris, how are you, mate? G'day, mate. How you going? Look at you. Nearly broke my hand. You're fit champion. Oh, sorry, buddy. Hey, uh, stoked to meet you, mate. Yeah. And before we start, man, I'll just, uh, I've been, Jimmy, Jimmy B from uh, Food Drug Blog put me on here. Yes. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this podcast. And because uh, I'm a bit of a podcast fiend, I listen to, you know, up to four a day, you know. Do you? And um, he put me on to you and I was, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll have a listen. And uh, yeah, man, they're cool. I dig them, hey. Really interesting stories. Right. Yeah, good ones. Thanks, man. I have no no plan on why you even started it, really. Yeah. I kind of can... do, but but... But now it's like a eighteen months, almost eighteen months later. Yeah, it's cool meeting good people, eh? Different people. It and, is. Yeah, it's really good. And um, hey, first of all, which ones do you listen to? Oh, I've listened to heaps, mate. But probably I really like no, what... not of mine. No, no, of the of the oh, others. Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, uh, a lot of like cracker beer that you yeah, don't drink. Yeah, right? that's okay. A lot of um, self sort of growth ones. Uh, a lot of social media marketing stuff. Right. Yeah, marketing ones. Um, other ones. This is a cool one. Oh, there's a New York guy and he spends, does an hour, like a, just rings some random, it's called Hour Anonymous or something like that, and um, just has a chat to some random for an hour, no names, nothing. Really? A random in what? Just, just a random caller. Really? And um, yeah, they just chat, whatever, and then What's that called, do you know? I've forgotten. So, Have you got it on your phone? I will do. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Which is somewhere. Because um, I get, uh, it's funny you say that. It's on the other one. Is it? <laughs> oh, you'll think of it. I'll get about Yeah, yeah, you'll think of it. But uh, yeah, like um, there's a big show. Yeah. The the biggest podcasting expo um, in the southern hemisphere. Yep. It's coming up again, and and I was in it last year, and I found myself, uh, you know, I'm just interested in talking to you, finding out you and your jujitsu and your surfing and yep. and you know who you are, and then then all those roads we go down, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's so interesting. Yeah, it's different. Eh? But. But at this podcast uh, convention, there's so many people doing these marketing and and they were, like it's definitely a business tool. Oh yeah, for sure. But but I found myself every, I went oh geez I better start listening to some of these yeah, things because right. you know, I'm in business too you yeah, know yeah and it's not just about you know eventually you want to get paid back for your for your time at some stage yeah. you know like you're putting in a lot of hours I'm sure yeah it sounds like you're working pretty hard and you know at some stage it's good just to grow your audience but then you want to do something yeah. with that audience you know well my this is what spins me out right. And 
I don't know if you know, but my, my dad yep. owns Titan Sheds. Yep, right? I heard and that. He, he heard didn't that just one. own it. Yeah. He, he bought it when it was 40 grand in the hole mm. in 1992. Right, so my old, what I'm saying is my old man is a welder, yeah. gun salesman, selling stereos, got this, you know, welder stere- and salesman. Yeah, yeah stereo. Got into the shed business yep. where you're selling sheds yeah. and you're building sheds, yep. like in the factory. And bang, twenty almost twenty five years later, he's a guy I can I can actually uh, Get believe. From. Like yeah. I, I found myself going, man, all these some of these yeah. marketing people like I can't how, show me the business you've like. That's and, right, yeah, like a financial planner that hasn't got a, a house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it. I don't mean that in a bad way. No, no, because some people like like someone said to me, a mate said to me, like. Uh, Oh, what am I thinking? Tiger Woods, right? Tiger Woods, yep. great golfer. He has a coach. Yeah, everyone. Every, yeah. yeah, all sportsmen have coaches. All, all successful people have some sort of coach or mentor or <laughs> could whatever. Could you imagine you know? it? Yeah. Which you could imagine trying to, like, now listen, man. Yeah, that swing's not right, mate. That swing's not right. Oh, again. yeah, watch this. <laughs> Wumpa, hole in one, yeah, yeah, yeah. in your face. Yeah. No, it's crazy, hey? Yeah. It's good, it's good. But, yeah, that, that's really my problem. It's actually a bit of a um, – I always tend to uh, go too far. And, I, and by the way, I'm not like the old man. So yeah, yeah. I can recognize like e- you're a character. Yeah. Some people are made to just get out of bed and bang, bang, bang. And, and uh, you know, he came from a bit of a poor background. Sorry, I'm t- yabbering on. No, you're right, mate. But, but I, in my opinion, yeah. it, if you're hungry, if you're hungry for toys, like when you're young, you know, and you want, you, you'll do anything. Even to this day, man, he's like fighting for 10 bucks yeah. in the business, even though he's got loads. Yeah, he's well, still the same get, dude. That's how you keep that 10 bucks, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, mate. That's a it's a pretty running theme in in a lot of your podcasts as well. That guys you have on are, you know, they're they're hungry, they're ambitious, they got, you know, they work hard, mate. And that's I've listened to that one, um, Fallen Angel, the kid, the, oh, yeah. the kid, like yeah. to put out what you know vinyl, all that sort of yeah. stuff right. in that short time frame. You know, people just don't. Yeah, oh, that's it. Exactly, positive, yeah. positive dudes that are working, that are going forward. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because how many times you met someone? Especially when you clock your mind onto it, like, and you're going, oh man, you're, you're speaking in negatives. Like, uh, yeah, a lot of people speak in negatives, and just like, dude, are you ever going to be positive? And it yeah. feels like they're going backwards as they're speaking to you. Oh, so for sure, for sure. When you meet these guys going forward, yeah, it mate, it's, it's also who you surround yourself with, you know. Yeah, yeah, you can't always be around those crew, but also, you know, you can't always find the positive people. Mm. It's hard, mate. You know. Yep. To get to get onto those people, sometimes I've been uh, doing this thing in the last couple of years where I'm. Have you, have you seen Yes Men, Jim Carrey? Yes Men, Yes Men, yes, whatever yeah, it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I started. I watched that oh, a few years ago now. And I'm oh, I can't believe like, you're talking about this, but yes. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, oh, I'm gonna say yes to a few more things. Yeah, and just you know, going out and stuff. Oh, you want to come out? Yeah, yeah, I'll come out because you know you only get invited out a couple of times. Once, you, no, no, all right, never yeah. get invited again. And, yeah, and starting to meet more crew. Like, I never used to talk to people much. Right. I would never do this, you know. Right. I'd just eyeball you and go, how's it? And that'd yeah. be it. <laughs> That's all you get out of me. But, um, yeah, so when I'm surfing and things, I'll make conscious effort to say good day to someone or right. just meet crew and talk to crew. Yeah, it's exactly. Good. You know what happened today then? I can't believe you said that because today, I, uh, a couple of years ago, I did um, – I came to the same thing a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. Say yes. Like, yeah. you know, who knows what. Yeah, no, no, what's going to Forget happen. the fear of what may happen. But yeah. So I was coolly rocks on. Out of the blue, someone said, hey, can you drive, manage four hire vans that pick up all the bands? Like, coolly rocks on yeah. this weekend, right? Yeah. And there's something at the time there was like 13 stages. Mm. Um, everyone from Frankie J. Holden, like old rock and rollers to these new bands from Melbourne, blah, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. It was hard work, man. It was a volunteer deal. I did it. God, I don't want to do it again. Yep. And, but uh, Jimmy Maxwell it, uh, rang me up this afternoon and said, dude, it's on this weekend. Can you help? And I'm like, no, I'm going to Japan. Thank God. You know, because <laughs> it was just hard, but really fun because all you're doing is picking up bands like yeah. who are up on holidays. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like some, you know, dudes. Yeah, and, and then taking take, them somewhere and hanging out with them for pick, a little bit. Yeah, picking yeah. them up from the coolie afterwards yeah. and taking them back to the hotel. And, yeah, and just running off them. <laughs> well, for, it's a, it definitely is a bit of a job. That's yeah. volunteer stuff. Yeah. And the amount of people I rang and they just said no. And then in particular one today. 
there's a guy I know that needs to meet people. Yeah, yeah. And he said no. And I said exactly this. I said, man, imagine if you said yes. Yeah. The flower that develops. Yeah, and who knows what could happen. Why they might take you on tour or something. You could be a photographer, take a cool shot, bang, you're in a magazine, getting taken around on tour or whatever. Yeah. Just cool stuff. Or, and you know, you surf better than them. They go, man, you can surf. Take us for a surf. Yeah. Let's go. Exactly. Or whatever. It would end. And you find yourself in uh, conversations mm. with, with strangers. And they'll say something, and you have this like backlog of, of stuff. Oh, that you know, not that you name drop, so just you know, as much as me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Oh, that reminds me of the time yeah, that yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. And how can you do it when you're going to be dead? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, are you religious? Uh, I was brought up religious. Right. Um, I believe in God. I just, I don't really like. I don't go to church. I believe there's something there. Right. Yeah, I reckon. Right. Why? Oh well, that for that because I just said one day you'll be dead. Like, yeah. uh, you know, I didn't grow up with any church, yeah. sort of thing. I went to two or two or three in my whole life. So, yeah, yeah. You know, for whatever reason, just the folks weren't that way. Yeah. So I don't ever think about it, to be honest. I don't ever think about death, but I know oh, yeah, that mate. my I, feeling is that one day it's yeah, going to be over, and yeah. you may as well have a go. Yeah. You know? Even though I'm, you know, I believe in God and that, I, I don't ever want to think about death. Yeah. I, yeah. Nah. I watched my old man die last year. Did you? That was not cool. Why? Um, what, do you, what happened to the man? Uh, February. So he, um, he was an alcoholic wow. and just sort of, I got a call. I was teaching. I got a call from uh, my, oh, one of, one of, yeah, one of my aunties, I think it was, saying that, you know, dad's gone into intensive care. And he'd been in previous ones before, and I thought, oh, he'll be right, you know. Rang my, un- my other uncle, and he said, yeah, yeah, he'll be fine. No worries. Dad's strong. Pull out of it. And uh, I saw it wasn't sitting right with me. I went back teaching. It wasn't really sitting right with me. So I rang the hospital because I weren't giving any information to my aunties or anything. This is in Darwin. So I rang the hospital and spoke to the doctor, and I couldn't really understand what he was saying. So, But it just so happened that I had a, um, like a, a nurse, one of the parents that I teach, um, was a nurse from intensive care. So I got her on the phone to him and then she relayed the message that, yeah, this is this is it, like he's on life support. Wow. You need to make a decision to go see him or whatever. And, um, yeah, that's sort of, that was in February. But what were we talking about? We were talking about uh, God Well, well exactly that stuff that you, you got your time's <laughs> yeah. up. You're going to be yeah. up. And, man, I had a bit, of, yeah, I had, I had pretty good, like a bit of time to think on the way back and I was, Thinking, yeah, I've got to do more stuff and, right. you know, achieve more things and right. meet more people and just say yes to more stuff, you know? Yeah. yeah. And then when you're – can you believe it? Isn't it weird, man? We're gone. Yeah. We yeah. go one day. You know, we go. That's yeah. it. Yeah. I don't – I'm really spoken too much about it and I've only just met you. <laughs> yeah, no. Sorry, mate. <laughs> I would never ask anyone about religion stuff. No, nah, no. Nah. But, <laughs> but if I'm going to bring up – yeah. Like the and hey, I'm I'm the kind of dude that no one's really died around me, man. Like uh, yeah, yeah. It's you know. It was it was weird. I saw my, you know, I saw. I've seen some dead bodies before, you know, and uh, but just to watch it happen. Did you? Uh, oh, actually, no, I actually don't. Don't get. You can good. ask. Yeah, right. Did you go to Darwin? It, you know. Yeah, yeah. I went up, yeah. so I flew up. So I um. Uh, I spoke to my boss, sort of thing, and I wasn't going to go. Because we're not, we weren't that close, you know, had an okay relationship, but whatever. And um, you seen Once Warriors? Yep. That was my dad. Really? Yeah, just bashing Jake people the back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dead set. Yeah, hard ass. Oh, mate. But mellowed in his old age, you know? Yeah, thank God. <laughs> yeah, my mom the same, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I went and saw him one time when he was, I don't know, he must have been good side of 50. And uh, I was heading to Adelaide at the time. Stopped in and he had a broken hand. I was like, hey, what did you do? Oh, yeah, I was running. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, right hand, running. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're right. out. <laughs> yeah, then, running into yeah. a dude. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were out that night having a, having a beer. And uh, actually this uh, Indian, Indian guy had a, had a bone carving on. And it, well, man took exception to that, you know. And he's like, where are you from? It's like, what? So where are you from? And then got right in his face, you know, and got angry because he's wearing a bone carving and wow. all this sort of stuff. Like, Dude, what are you doing? You, you know, leave it alone. Ah. You're too old for this, mate. This Different goes, generation, though. 
Oh, yeah. Who, I, who knows, you know, they're hard what they're thinking. Mate. They yeah. are. Yeah, my stepdad was a hard ass too, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, yeah. Okay, you've